Hey guys, Rocco Free Games here, and this is a tutorial on how to get Windows 7 Ultimate or Windows 8.1 Pro for free. Suggested by Pete Martinez. So what you're going to want to do is head to the link in the description. It should take you to either, depending on which one you want, Windows 7 Ultimate or Windows 8.1. I would recommend Windows 8.1 if you don't know, because if the only thing reason you don't want is because of the start button, you can get a program that adds the start button. But depending on which one you want, you're going to want to scroll down. Now you had 32-bit and 64-bit. What you can do is, if you don't know what you should get, is head to this, go to your control panel, system and security. Now system, and it'll tell you what, um, what version you're running. But if you still don't know, I would recommend getting the 64-bit. Because if you get the 32-bit um, and you should have got the 64-bit, it will be worse than if you got the 64-bit and you should have got the 32-bit. So I would recommend getting the 64-bit if you don't know, but you should know. Click download. The, it should start automatically. Right there. And depending on your internet, even if it's fast, um, it'll take a while because of the servers. So once you download it, I don't need to download because I already have it. But once you download it, um, get head to the other thing. Now this is, if you're installing it, now this is a tutorial on how to get it for free. Not how to install Windows. But this, I am going to tell you this. If you want to install Windows on from a USB, which I would recommend doing that except for a disk because it's faster, um, use this program. It will create a bootable USB drive. So what you do is you select your um, device, your USB, then you would keep that and keep that and then select your, um, your ISO and then click start and it will take your ISO that you just downloaded and it'll create a bootable drive with your USB. Now, if you're doing this with a disk, you'll have to look that up because I've never did it with a disk. I imagine it's easy. But you would also recommend looking up how to use this program too because it'll be easier. I might have an annotation on how to, how to a uh, tutorial video if I can find a good one. So the next thing you're going to want to do is head to the description. It'll take you to Windows 8.1 Activator. This also works with Windows 7 and you're going to want to download that then you can exit out of your browser or minimize it then open up your file explorer go to your downloads now you will want to take your windows out then take your activator and then your winrar all these would be in the description the winrar is just a one click link then once this is in the description, now would be the time where you take this and you would put it on your USB or disk. So this part, that's for another tutorial video that I would recommend you would look up how to create a bootable drive with for how to make a bootable USB Windows with using Rufus. So that's another video that I might have linked in with an annotation if I can find a good one. But we're focused on this more than the installing windows so once you're done with that you're going to want to take your usb now if you're going to be using a disk you can just take any usb you want but if you're going to be creating a bootable usb drive you can use the same one that you used for the making it a bootable drive so you want to take your usb plug it in then you're going to want to take this and then put it to your USB okay once you've did that you can close out of this now on to your new computer so pretend this is right after where you're on your new computer and you've freshly installed Windows from creating a bootable USB with the ISO or a bootable um, disk from that ISO with Windows 7 or 8. So now you're on your new computer. You're going to want to plug your USB in, which is either the extra one or the bootable one that you created that has the bootable drive files in it. 
Okay, once you plug it in, it should pop open. You're going to want to install WinRAR. So click yes. And then just click install. And then um, it says a 40 day trial period. It's fake. It's free. This thing's free. And then you want to take this out to your um, thing. You won't get that message. I already had one on my dashboard. And you can close this out. You're going to want to right click it extract it with the WinRAR you just download, install it on your new computer. Now you're going to see this. Now you would have your text and everything on the bottom right, like I have that, but it'll say the Windows thing, and your Windows would not be activated when you go into your settings, like I showed you on how to get the, how to check what your Windows version is. So I'm going to want to double click into the activator, double click it. Now you see this part that says run as administrator. You want to click that, then right click it, then run it as administrator. A window would pop up. It would take like five seconds. Then it'll activate your windows and the text would be gone. You want to want to restart your computer if the text isn't gone. And then if you go into your settings, you want to see that it, there is a code and it is activated. So your screen resolution may be a little bit funky, but you should be able to change that. That should auto change like it did for mine. So hopefully this tutorial wasn't too confusing. And so the only things you would have to do is if you don't know how to install Windows and create a bootable drive, search up how to create a bootable USB drive with Rufus. Or if you're using a disk, you won't have to search up your own thing. So hopefully it wasn't too complicated. Hopefully you got it. The links would be in the description and recommend for what other games and software you guys want me to do. See ya.